Louis Pasteur, Conqueror of Disease The soup remained there for a long time and it never went bad as it would have done if it had been standing in a bowl in the kitchen. That, said Pasteur, is because there are no parent germs in the soup, and they cannot reach it because of the bend in the long tube. So, he took one of the bottles and spilt a little of the soup down the tube so that it settled in the bend. This soup went bad. We often speak of dust traps. Well, this bend in the tube was a dust trap, because the dust, which, as we now know, may carry germs with it, could get as far as the bend but no farther, and it settled there and infected the soup. This is only one of many hundreds of experiments which Pasteur made to show how full the air is of dust particles and how germs may be carried by this dust. Pasteur again filled some bottles with soup. He took some into a little hotel bedroom where the air hardly ever changed, broke their necks off so that the air could enter freely, and after a few minutes sealed them up again. He then took some bottles into a field nearby and did the same with them. Finally he opened some on the top of a high mountain and again sealed them up. What was the result? When they were examined, the bottles opened in the hotel bedroom were full of soup which had gone completely moldy, the bottles opened in the field were moldy but not quite so bad, those opened on the mountain had no germs in them at all. Nowadays, we pay a great deal of attention to pure air, open windows, to freedom from dust, to garden cities. Pasteur was one of the first to show how necessary all these are if we are to fight against germs and disease. Another very useful discovery of Pasteur's while he was working in Paris was the process which we now call, after him, pasteurization. Some French wine growers were troubled by a germ which had turned their wine sour. Pasteur showed that by heating the wine, or milk, or whatever it might be to a temperature of 50 or 60 degrees centigrade, the germs were made harmless. Pasteurized milk is milk which has been treated in this way and then sealed to prevent more germs from entering. Louis Pasteur was what we should call an all-round scientist. All the research which he did in his laboratories was meant to help his fellow human beings. It would be impossible to imagine Pasteur experimenting with explosives or poison gas. Pasteur founded the branch of science called bacteriology, or the study of bacteria, and he showed what a wide range it had by studying the bacteria in all sorts of different activities. For three years he spent all his time and energy in tracking down the cause of a disease which had ruined the silkworm industry. He began to believe that most, if not all, Infectious diseases were due to certain bacteria which, if they got into the blood, multiplied their and caused disease. Many other men were working and experimenting against those bacteria which were the enemies of man and which were invisible but present everywhere and always ready to attack. Dr. Jenner in England had already discovered vaccination for smallpox but inoculation against other diseases had not yet started. Pasteur was trying to discover a cure for the terrible disease called anthrax, which men sometimes get from infected shaving brushes, and which was attacking cows and sheep in France and killing them off very quickly. He found out first of all that a cow could not have anthrax twice. Then he began to wonder whether it would not be possible to make a cow and even a man just a little ill with anthrax, so that they might not get it again. 
Perhaps this could be done by giving the cows or sheep very weak old germs to make them safe or immune for the future. One can imagine how dangerous this idea of giving people germs must have seemed in those days. Many scientists were angry about it, but they agreed to allow Pasteur to prove it by a public experiment. So, Pasteur collected some sheep, goats and cows, and divided them into two lots. To one lot he gave injections of his weak anthrax germs. The other lot was left alone.